Okay, this is a quick video um, on shortcuts uh, for the uh, micro SDX, micro SDR, eight band Chinese transceiver. Um, uh, lots of people making this transceiver now. There is an official one. This is the Chinese one. This is the one that I'm talking about. Um, one of the things was uh, volume. Um, you know, going into the menu, selecting the volume. The shortcut for that is just to press in the encoder and twist. And as you can see, we can make the volume go up and down. That's one shortcut. Uh, the other shortcut... Um, was really to do with uh, the, the, the band changing. Now, we're on the 80 meter band, and um, a few people have noticed, including myself, that sometimes the transceiver will get locked. If you go into the menus, go into the band, and change the band, it gets locked on 6 or 10 meters, and you have to do a power reset on the transceiver uh, to get it to come back. It's a little bit disconcerting, but um, rather than go into the menu, there's two ways that you can change the band. Uh, the first one is to click very, very quickly. Sorry, double quick, double click. So you double click very quickly. And you can see we're stepping up through the bands. We're on 14 megahertz, 18 megahertz, 21 megahertz, 28 megahertz, and back down to um, a 3 megahertz or the, the uh, 80 meter band. Uh, the other way to do it as well is to, um, if you notice you've got a cursor, the cursor's underneath the three at the moment. If we click once, the cursor moves along. So we keep clicking along, and uh, there we have it. It's underneath the three, and you can just turn. Now we're on, well, we're not quite on the 40 meter band. Let's uh, step along. And let's turn the volume down. And as you can see, we're now quickly, without going into the menus, without locking up the radio, uh, that's one way. Uh, say you can double click to change the band. You can click once to move the cursor along. And uh, that saves you having to go into the menus and um, getting the radio locked into 6 and 10 metres. It's, it's, it's annoying. It's not, you know, the end of the world, but it is annoying. And likewise, you know, a, a useful tip is that. There are more shortcuts um, that I haven't found yet. There are other shortcuts that I have that you know, I'm not going to go into now. But those are the main ones that I've been questioned about was changing the volume quickly, uh, changing the bands quickly... And and uh, moving the cursor along underneath the frequency display. So there you go. Uh, just a couple of uh, useful tips.